This is for UDX 21, Charleston, South Carolina. This is UDX 362. I'm waving to you guys out there. Thanks for uh, sending these today. Um, the day when I got these is when the day, um, you know when the stickers came in the mail? You know when the giveaway drawing happened that day? When 390 Wagon Master, I got internet drawing. Someone actually did. Um, when I won the amp out there. That's when the stickers came on that giveaway on Saturday. So that's when I got them in the mail. Then, I think about an hour later, um, that's when I saw 390's Wagon Master live stream on there. The giveaway. And it must have been the stickers that did the luck from JT. That's what won the amplifier. You know what I'm saying? If you keep doing this, and people who win the shout out wheel, sometimes you get two prizes in a row. It's like, his shout out wheel got me stickers, and then when this came on Saturday, it was luck. And what happened there, when this came in the mail during the day when the giveaway came, um, so I'm going to shout out to you guys out there. So it was the stickers that did it that gave me the contest to win. I think that's what happened that day when I got these in the mail. And it came in the same day when the giveaway came. And that's how it happened, guys. Could have been true. JD brought some luck on me when I won the spin-out wheel. It's like two prizes in one week. That's something else. Got it from old radio night. It's pretty cool. And I'm saying, the shout-out wheel did it. It brought luck to me. It made it won the stickers from JT on uh, UDX 21. Then the week after that, the next Saturday was the giveaway for 390 Wagmaster, the one I won the giveaway. It was the double shout out wheel. If you guys do win something like this, uh, if you guys did enter a giveaway on radios and stuff like that, think about it. You might win two times in a row. It's just kind of like. It's like you're being struck by lightning in a different way, but not getting struck, but it's almost like that in a different way. Okay, now you guys, I'm back on the video. Sorry I got interrupted. That happened means a lot of times. Just had to make sure everything's good. So, that was actually the luck of the shout-out wheel. I'm going to show you the stickers I have. Plus today, favorite drink we're drinking today with this for him. Um, the Fuji water, I get this all the time. This is the stuff I like. I used to have aqua-type spring water down in North Florida a long time ago. This is good water. It's not that bad. You guys should try that out sometime. And we're going to give a cheers to RC Colda 79 smoke screen to JT uh, for UDX uh, 2112 out there. 21 CB Lounge 2112 video gates out there. Shout out to him to read. We hope we can get to see him soon. We haven't heard him for a while, but I know he's kind of busy. But we understand that. We know the, the kind of sandbagging when they usually do that. When people are sandbagging, they usually come back later. It, it's all right. So, shout out to Reed out there, and shout out to UDX21 and all the guys out there. So, the stickers we're going to show today, from JT, Old Radio Night. Uh, I promised to get do a sticker video for him today. And also, the new thing in the background is the newest on um, DX Engineering Magazine. I just got it the other day. So, it's all the stuff they have. The, some has the uh, CB stuff in there, like the basic ground rods and all that stuff. They got a lot of things beside Hammy Ham stuff. There's stuff that will work for CB radius in this catalog, especially the coaxes. You guys should check out DZX Engineer when you get some time. And you might be able to find that. They have the they had the Penetrator 500 on there too. The one Wagon Master had. They sell it in this magazine. They're the only magazine that sells it beside the Copper Electronics. If you guys are looking for um, a high gain antennas, like the uh, Super Penetrator 500, SPT 500, it's in this magazine. And they got other beaming antennas. Check out DGX Engineer Magazine on the internet when you get some time. But they have my Alpha Delta in this one too. The one I really want to have for my ground rod. But you can switch the filter out to a better filter for it. They have they sell them for $14 in here. Um, they actually get them up to 3,000 watts. The other ones do 200. But you can switch this filter out and put it on your Alpha Delta. It'll work better. So the stickers we got today. This is from the shout out wheel. This is... um. From JT, uh, Uncle Freddy. This is him dressing up the chicken man. That is to call the chicken choker. And when they do this, I'll show you about the chicken choker, how it works. Let me get the little thing in a second, and I'll show you in a second. I'm going to show that in a second. We'll shout to him in a second. So that's the chicken choker for 
Uncle Freddy for uh, that guy out there. <laughs> That's why we use these chicken chokers all the time for when they have this. Uh, that's a whole routine of CB type thing, guys. You don't understand for your girls out there. And you don't understand that's how they used to have this chicken. That's usually we're shouting out to each other. It's like um when you do like little horns on a car. So. <laughs> but I bought this at a local store in my area. I think it's up in Old Christian. See, this is where this guy came from. It was actually at um, Head, Super, Head Smart or probably it was um trying to figure out five below. Could have been one of this, and I found one of these. And it's pretty cool. They have you. It's a it, you can get a dog toy as a chicken choker. So, shout out to Uncle Freddy, to UDX Twenty One out there <laughs> for the stickers. So that was for the shout out, Will. What he gave me. Too bad we don't have a fox chicken. If we have a fox chicken. Let me know. If you guys have a chicken that dresses up like a fox, like a fox man type chicken. We could do something like that Uncle Freddy thing like that. It'd be cool if we can make one of these into a fox head with a chicken mount, uh, with, with a beak of uh, a fox with like a like a fox type ears and everything. Instead, like a like more like a chicken type fox. Think about it. Like a fox man. But they had those fox man co costumes I've seen on eBay. They were actually some really nice ones for like $20. It looks like a furry type head. It looks like a real one for like 20 to 40 bucks. You guys should look it up on eBay for that one. This is one called 21 uh, World Ride Broadcast Online. This is actually for his old radio night show. This is him talking on the tower here. That's his beam antenna up there. That's how he thinks he's impressive. I might get one of those kind of stickers that make one for my beam antenna. Maybe something like with the stereo. But this is how he thinks like the whole world. It's like that old kind of 1940s and 50s things. Like extra, extra, read all about it. Stuff like that from the 30s. And you're putting on, on the, like, the old commercials I've seen on Nickelodeon back in the 80s and 90s. Like they had those little antennas on top of the little globe like in the 30 films or 40s. And that's how it's like. That's how they refer. And they, this is his uh, actual tower on for real. This is what, what his tower looks like. That's what he thinks he's broadcasting the world. It's a beacon. Talking to everybody on the CB. And that's what they call worldwide broadcast means. He's talking skip all over the world. Different countries, different states, you name it. And probably that's what this sticker meant. These are for like these big tower guys out there. That's how we usually think about DX in the world. But the cool thing with a little red light bolt is awesome. He did a good job on the sticker. And I really like him. And DX and Hire is another guy out there he recommend. This guy does CB radios and his skull type thing. That is, um, check him out on YouTube and on his group. He does other CB radio stuff. That's another guy out there who promotes stickers to him. And... He's hard the DX Empire on that one. And this one I actually like. It's like the Pirates of the Caribbean type thing. It's like the Pirates Code. Ho, 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 jolly, ho, 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 rum. You know, I'm saying lots of bottle of rum. Red Matrix or something like that. Either way, it's like the, that's what we call them when we fly our colors on the radio. When we say bring out the colors, bring out your pirate flags. Maybe we can do something like that. And it means it's a pirate's code for them. It's like a pirate life of life to be. These could be all over the world. We don't know. There could be Siberia pirates in our area that just basic guys have hobby stuff. Pretty cool. But this is like the Jolly Roger. The Jolly Roger of uh, the DX Empire. Like the Jolly Roger, the Black Beards, you name those kind of guys. Uh, the Flying Dutchman and those whole type thing. And Captain Hook. And I'm about like all those cool dudes. And these are like what they used to be the pirates back in North Carolina and South Carolina in the old days when Blackbeard lost the battle right on the beach of um, near, um, what that area called, Fort Fisher or Wright, Wrightsville Beach, who knows, Wilmington, North Carolina. And there were a lot of pirates in the Caribbean too. So the ones who live in the Caribbean get one of these. And we want to see a lot of pirate flags on CB radios. I think that'd be good. We should actually come out with something like a quad five pirate radio. Like the quad five pirate or the quad five blackbeard. Or we could call it the Cobra 29 blackbeard. The Cobra, um, or we can call it um, the Cobra 29 Jack Sparrow. That's like your Jack Sparrows. 
and I know we could call all kinds of names of CB radio pirate systems. We could call it the Madison Blackbeard or the Madison um, Captain um, Captain Jack Sparrow or something like that. Why can't you guys come out and like, you know, there's a president type series, all president names. Why you president can't come out with something to call pirates type, the pre pirate, um, president pirate radio or pirate radio type something. Like we call it the pirate radio Blackbeard, pirate, the pirate of Jolly Roger, the pirate of um, the, the Flying Dutch, all the famous pirate names. And... We can name all this cool, but if you guys want to fly your colors, go ahead. Be on the radio. Show your pirate flags no matter what. St stick with the pirate code, and we say Pale to you all UDXers out there and UDX21 all over the world. And that's what I'm saying. We're just going to say Pale completely with this one. That is a the Pale Pirates code from DX Empire. And that's who the guy who wrestles. Then that's what it is. It's usually their radio type official, but it's Pale for everybody. So, hope they make one for me, for the Fox Man. I'd like to have like an orange display pirate sticker, like the red fox type display, like a little Fox Man and a pirate. That'd be cool. And this is Old Radio Night. This is his TV show on YouTube. Comes on Saturday nights at 11 o'clock, uh, at like 8 o'clock p.m. I have the whole sticker up here. You guys will see it soon. This one, this is the official one. That one comes on... At that time, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I have all those other old stickers he has. But these are a little bit new ones. I really like the other one he has. But this one still like the big one I have. And this is his old uh, old radio night TV show. They do all kinds of C radios in the full um from this from the 50s, 60s, and 70s, and lots, lots more in the 80s and 90s, and the 2000s. He puts about every tube radio s system out there, and the and the basic radios in the 80s and 90s, like the Cobras, the realistic radios like the TRC-449 and TRC-451s, and the RCI-type radios I like. And I would love to get my work in. And he does the Saturn Galaxy radios. There's all kinds of C radios you like choices. The ones I like is mostly for sideband and AM built in there. And this is one I really like. I really like this one with JT did. The one with the red logo on, they got some little color fire to the wire to it. That's like your fire wire type sticker when you put it on your promotion. These should be going on boxes in the four pills, the eight pills. I recommend those big amp builders out there. Put one of those stickers on your radios. Uh, when you get that thing sold to someone, if you advertise his old radio night, you'll get him more people to his channel. And you'll help JT, and especially old 2 radio network comes on that same time at 11 o'clock p.m. We need an old 2 radio network sticker on this thing. We definitely, someone needs to do for that dentist man. That man does a lot of show. He deserves stickers, t-shirts, you name it. I've gotten them on like something like that or on a ball cap called Old 2 Radio Network. People will be interested, believe me. You might bring the hammy hands to look at that. You never know. And they might have two radios to sell them to Harvey and all that. This one I called the CB Radio Brother UDX21. That was a nice one. He did a good job on this one. I really like this one. The brotherhood means it's like, like the whole entire brother thing, like the citizens band, citizens band of bro, band of brothers. That's what the brotherhood means. So that's what it is. But he did. It's like you're on fire. You're completely touching the mic, and you're feeling the grip of it when you want to talk to it to talk to people all over the world. It is making the feel what the music kite makes lots of noise, and you're talking to everybody and all that stuff. Mostly your radios are transmitting up to outer space to other planets you're talking to. Believe me, it is true. It's proven sciences from all that stuff, radio telescopes. And especially radio broadcasting, like FM, TVs, and stuff like that. It's like, this is actually, he's really talking in the microphone. Talking means, this is the means what the Brotherhood is. He's really through his tradition for UDX-21. I'm talking about um, JT, Dirty Diaper Twin. He's been doing it very well since the 70s. I've seen all those little, um, the one with the Shadow Storm type website a while back. The one on Caroline Pirates site. That guy's got some good audio recordings because he's been a CBer since before I was born. Probably when my parents were teenagers. But this guy has every radio you have, believe me. If you want to check his old show, Old Radio Night, do it. 
he will recommend to be happy. He'll give you a wrench and you'll go into one of these spin out wheels and you'll get lots of these stickers. And when he gets another thousand more subscribers, if he gets 4,000 subscribers, he'll do another shout out wheel probably when you draw for a t shirt, like the old Radio Night t shirt. It, it hits at a certain point every thousand subscribers, like 4,000 subscribers, 5,000. You go on up and he puts a, a, a t shirt once in a while. And you got to be lucky to get that. This one is an amazing sticker. Uncle Freddy, the real thing. I really like that when he did a good job on it. It's the real chicken man, and he does a lot of stuff. We're going to blow it up for him, and we're going to show it to JT out there. Get a good screenshot of this, guys. Let me pull it back. Make some kind of comic out there. We need to put one with a CB radio in the background. We need to have a chicken, Uncle Freddy, with a, with a D104 microphone and a bunch of little things. But this guy's got a pimp in his life. He's got the... He's got the blings. He's got everything. This man's got it all set up for CB radios for sure. He has that CB radio rocking and roll like he wants to do Jolly Robin and the Beach Boys and the stuff like that. He's like that. And he's like the Rolling Stones. He's like the Pink Floyds. For Uncle Freddy, he's like all that. He's like the Els Presleys. He's like the, who is that guy? The one that does Great Balls of Fire, Jerry Lee Lewis. He's like Kiss. He's like the legends of rock and roll type, the Beatles, Alabama, Willie Nelson, the name of like that, the Jimmy Buffets, the ones with the, the ones with the, like the Jackson Fives. He's got all that. He's got some of the hip hop type waves, like the old school hip hop, like the Hammer Man. Like he said, don't touch this. And especially, this guy's got the baby got backs too, okay? I'm telling all you hood people in the neighborhood, in the hood, if you want to get a CB radio, You'll be able to do your you be able to do your neighborhood type talks out there if you want. Get a C radio for you, all you hood dudes out there. I'm talking about your your homeboys and stuff like that, and word up and stuff like that. And I'm talking about this guy is the man is like a like a rapper of a thousand words. He's not rapping, but he's rapping with his type of radio when he squeezed the chicken out of it. <laughs> He's definitely is rapping around the world with that. He's talking on the CB radio to different countries. Believe me, you'll be more interested in the world about those people. You will learn a lot of them. And be and when you're on the CB radio, be respect to these people from international countries. They might want to feel themselves to talk their expressions out there on their air. So give them time. Do their do your do, you, do your DX type number, do your call sign number or your call sign, and be basically do not engage in aggression fights over each other. Be nice to each other. Be neutral to each other about everything. Tell them about the weather. Tell them what's going on over here. And tell them like that. And we need to be more respectful of the people on the radio. But if you're talking to other countries, respect the man's person's culture and respect yours. It's like one day when we go to Mars, we have to start respecting all the planets in the galaxies. Okay? This man is like the Star Trek, the Captain Kurt Enterprise, just like me. He's almost like Captain Kurt, Spock, and then... This guy is called Uncle Freddy. He's for sure. He's for real. He's not a faker. He's for real about C radios. The only thing you do not do on his show is do not talk about politicians. He doesn't want to hear that. No drama. But yeah, you can talk about a little about health, thing like that. Just don't start fights with this guy. Be respectful to his rules. It's the same thing with um, UDX 21, uh, UDX 20, uh, 2112, CB Lounge 2112. He talks about that. He doesn't. Want, he likes the old school movies, and that's what that guy's about. He's pretty cool. Reed is. You check him out when you get some time. But this one, called Old G Social Networking Citizen Men Network. This is the most important. You guys need to get into radios, and I'll tell you why. This can actually happen to you guys in real life, like this accident scene. You guys can see that where they're crashing into the walls. This is like when you have those cell phones. Cell phones are great, but you have a CB radio, if you're in a trap in an ice storm, snowstorm, and let's say your uh, your cell phones went out, your cell phone towers went out during ice storms or a hurricane disaster or a tornado or some kind of electric EMP, if you got batteries in these cars are still working, this is why you guys need social net, net, um, band network for sure. These radios never fail in life, and you better make sure you have them in case it happens. Look at the people that went through Asheville, North Carolina during last week. 
They lost their whole entire cell system, went down off grid. And they couldn't even get communication throughout. I've seen on the YouTube videos I saw a few weeks ago. And there was one in Florida, down in, in North Florida. They took down a cell tower in on some part of the interstate, Interstate 10, which is showed on one of those videos. I'm telling you, yeah. This can happen to you in real life if you don't get one of these. Make sure you have one of these CB radios just in case it happens. If you guys live in hurricane zones or anything or earthquake zones, these come very useful. And if you guys were tra traveling to Wyoming out there where that big area, I 80, where they had that snowstorm over here, blocked the roads, these could be useful. And I recommend for people to get into Citizen Citizen Citizens Band Network. OG social networks, citizen band networks. Citizen band is a very important tool for you guys out there. If you're going to get into the C radio hobby, recommend start out a radio. Don't forget to check out these stickers. We'll show you the radios before we get on out of here. And I want to thanks to UDX21 out there on YouTube. And 20, um, um, I want to say thanks to Dirty Diaper out there. Thanks to um, JT. Thanks for all you out there. Thanks to Uncle Freddy. <laughs> And that's him. We'll talk about that. One of the things to OTR and all that. Thanks for for the shout out, Will, bringing these things. I hope we do it sometime soon to get more of these stickers. Who knows? Make sure you tell Uncle Freddy I brought you out here on, on YouTube and showed it to you. And also, I'm going to talk about seaweed. Um, these are the power supplies I'm using. That's a 50 amp fuse. That's a 25 amp power supply computer power supply. You guys seen this a while back. That's the one I'm using on my Silver Eagle. And this other one's going to be for my RM Italy 203P. That's it. But I don't have a big power supply. I don't have a 30 amp power supply. I don't. These are all the power supplies I use. Those are ATX boards that run on computer systems. You know, like the ones you get from the 90s and 2000s? Those are 5 amp fuses. That's why I was having the, that problem a while back. And the only power supply is running is one of these. That power supply is the only thing I had when I ran all my radios and stuff, and it will run my auto tuner, the one with the ATX 100, and that's the only thing that one runs. It only runs some mobile C radios, the ones I had. That one is the one. My other one burned up because I put the wrong fuse, and this guy I still uses it for spare parts later on for that one down there. I put a 15 amp fuse. I thought it was it needed it. Instead, it needed like a one or two amp fuses, but that's the only thing I do. But I will never do that again. So, and also those are my other radios. And there's my other R in Italy. This one works okay, pretty good. This one's doing good since I put that 15 amp fuse. It took a lot of time to find it. And I got plenty of those 15 amp fuses. Those, I got at least about 100 of those. And I put it in there to keep this thing low out and the fan blowing up. But that new box I'm going to be getting is going to do a lot better. This is the tube radio I love to get fixed if you guys are interested. If you want to get, if you get this thing working, that'd be great. This is the Lafayette uh, Comsat 35, and this meter needs some fixing, but you guys know what happened. This little thing works great, and there's like, I found this little Fox logo. I got it off one of those boxes when I got my, um, you know the one with that little mobile thing I made that coil antenna out of, the TC9? So I got a box of that mount with one of these things. It came with a bunch of these hunting type camera gear with these pod things I got, which... I got a bunch of them for sure. I cut them out of this little cardboard box this guy sent a package to him. And it had a fox on it. So I'm actually going to be using it in some of my videos this way. So it's perfect. We need something like that on the show. But we'll put it right there. We can actually do something like that. Or live streams. Who knows. We can do all the interesting. So we got it on the quad five. You can take it off. I'll show you it's at. It's made out of a piece of cardboard. So I took it off one of those camera type boxes. When it came with that mobile mount. You know the one... You guys seen that a while back? I'll show you that in a second. Put that fox back on there. Yeah. I don't want no hair on that thing. The fox. There we go. We got him back on there. So we'll just take it off there later. But I just want to show you. We might be able to use that on some of the radios to do. We got a Foxman Improved Quad 5 right there. That's funny. This still works good. I took this out a couple of weeks ago and I was trying it with the auto tuner with this. I might have to be using this on this coil antenna right here. You guys know the one I made. I don't know where it's at, but I'll show you in a second. Hold on. 
it's usually these are all my trim 300s i took the one off the roof just the other day you guys know what that is that's the one been on the roof for five years for four to five years you guys seen that one right there that's the one been on the roof that one i bought back several months ago this guy here you guys see that all right oh there it is there's the coil antenna i found it there's the guy this one i'm probably going to put the at100 on that that's the one I actually have. So you guys seen that had JB well. It's gonna do good. And mostly I cut that off, but it's got a coax to it already hooked up to it. And we're gonna be using the AT100 in the car to try that out with a quad five or something like that. It'll auto tune. We're gonna take this around town to try it when we get some time. You guys know what the TC100 that way, um, TC9. We're gonna try that out, but we don't want to take this one drive down the road and fall down. But it's got JB well to it. I JB Weld to make sure because that little thing did not, it only works this way. So we have to use an antenna natural to do it. The AT100 actually does good, which will get a little bit more powerful. It only does up to 100 watts. We'll just use basic stock radio and see if we can get around some skip on that. So I'm going to go back to here so you guys can see the air seal. She's still there. I had to replace that glass a couple weeks ago when I knocked it down, fell down. So our radios are still here. Just want to let you know, CB Launch 2112. And the Ken Carlite stuff is still right here, guys. You guys are good. So I just want to wave you guys out there. So it's pretty good. We still have all that. That's the plug that goes to the, the meter up there that runs it. And the turning plus two is still there. So I've been working on an antenna for a while. You guys see that. Let me see the air seal. Not good for during daylight, but... but and it's going to get dark more during the winter time. You guys know that. So that's the power supply I'm running on my quad five. This guy here. You guys see that. Just want to show that to seaweed. That will not run an amplifier. It's that actually is the one that runs at 13 volts or the quad five. That's the one that uses the quad five. This is the only one I keep this on my quad five for sure. You guys saw that one happened a couple uh, a year ago there. That's the one with those Chinese power supplies. I think it's a 24 volts, but I got it down to 13.3 volts. That's the only thing that will run to it. But I don't have one of those 30 amp power supplies. This guy I'd love to get fixed, this guy here. And that Sears one right there, the Road Talker 40. You guys saw some of these videos a while back. This guy still works this day, I think it does. That's the, that's the, the TRC23C. The grant works perfect, I know. Like I told you guys what happened with the fuse. This is one of my other ones. This one, I definitely need some repairs on that guy here, the TRC-452. I recapped it, but it needs to get that crystal chip out to get it transmit and receive again. That's what that thing is. And there's my uh, TRC-418 up here. You guys seen that a while back, but still got that radio from the 80s. We're pretty quite good. And it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Well, that's the one I want to get fixed for sure. The old two radio, uh, that one I love to get fixed. And we still got the Inco right here. You guys seen that? And still doing all these tools and stuff a little bit, but yep. Yeah. I've been working very hard on that. I want to do a next antenna project to do one of these when we get it to work. And I got those pieces of filters ready to go. I need one of those 5G filters up there. And I'll show you a banana tree. It's going to be in the winter time for the rest of the year. It will grow real bananas later on. But you got to keep it inside during the summertime frost. Here's our chicken coop out there, you guys see? Way out there. So I just want to let you know. So this is the, actually the old Radio Night stickers from JT that I gave me a while back. I'm going to shout out to those out there. World, World I-390, UDX-390. Still got his thing up there. And 207 in the afternoon, I think it's around my time. It's 201 right here. This is the clock is official right here. We'll probably be start changing, changing time soon. In about a month or so, you guys know when it comes. So... And I wish I had got tons of this stuff. I still got two more packs of this stuff. I think another pack I got for the other one ready to go. You guys know that. So this is the air seal. She's doing all right. 
It's perfect for everything it does. So I'll catch you guys later. This is Foxman 362 War Ray on YouTube. UDX 362 East Tennessee Shaka Wave out here. Just wanted to update that to JT and there's my D104 microphone that thing. We'll have to check and get it to work and we have to rewire those things again. And you guys see the rod, that one needs uh, fixing for transmit. It has received, it needs transmit. And it's pretty good. So the quad thigh is still there. And the silver eagle. So this is UDX362 East Tennessee. I'll catch you guys later. 79 smoke screen. And don't forget to check us out. United Delta X-Ray. Uh, look at UDXCBRadio.com. Check that out, guys. And if you want to check out 390 on Wagon Master on YouTube, check it out. And this is our newest official GDX sticker logo today, this, this year in 2024. That's what we have. And don't forget to check out CB Lounge 2112 on YouTube. And we still got the old one we had a while back. Here's CB Lounge 2112. Here's CB Lounge 2112. Hope Reed comes back soon. I hope he's alright. We'll worry about him. And this radio actually works the old, uh, this serial one with the sideband. This one works, the one on the bottom. And all these do work except we need to fix this guy here. And you guys know that. And these are mostly the meter type you guys see now. But I'm going to catch you guys later. UDX362 East Tennessee. 79 smoke screen. And I just want to say thanks JT for bringing those stickers out to me for the shout out will. Just want to shout out to him. This was a video request from him today. And that's what I was doing. And I was telling all you guys out there. This is Foxman 362 War Ray on YouTube. And I'm talking about 79 smoke screen. UDX 362 East Tennessee. And I'll catch you all later.